And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Everton. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Vitor Pereira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Michael Keane plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Unable to keep the ball. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Yes, yeah, the club's leading. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Oh, there it is. The opening goal. It falls for Paris Saint-Germain. And it could be oh so significant. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to this setback. Lionel Messi, Mbappe, and that's easy peasy for the keeper. Calvert Lewin. And ball back with PSG now. Nordi Mukiele. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. McNeil. And what can they do to stop him running at them? But the danger averted for now. Firing is in. Oh, good save. Mbappe, and he's broken free. 
And with the goalkeeper. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Verratti. Messi. Mbappé! And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. PSG, as you can see, have not enjoyed that much possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Well read to ease the pressure. And couldn't keep himself onside. Messi. Committed challenge. Ducouré. Kylian Mbappe. Shot attempted. And still an opportunity. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Couldn't keep the ball. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And we will have just one additional minute. And Messi in full control of the ball here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at the London Stadium. to the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory Everton regaining possession and in with a real chance and that is offside Possession seeded by the Toffees. Lionel Messi. Could be a chance to break here. And let's give credit to the defending. Mbappe 
And back to Verratti. Determined defending. Calvert Lewin. On to Messi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He's beaten his man. He's in with a chance. Terrific save. Well, that's a top class save. He read it so well. And a substitution in the offing. And he's fired over the corner and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? They need to get bodies back. Oh no! Couldn't beat the goalkeeper. And PSG pushing forward with options available. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Onana. Perfect challenge. Well, the minutes are ticking away. It's not officially a PSG victory yet. They'd love to make it that. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance here? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And the substitution will occur now. Fired over by Messi. So PSG hold the lead, and they have the corner now. And clears his lines. Interception to snuff out the danger. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Very quick thinking there. Renato Sanchez. Sanchez. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off well no card handed out he gets away with a rebuke well a lot of referees would have booked him there but I'm with him on this one no yellow card for me and this could finish it off and that is when you need your goalkeeper. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Played over. A deft clearance. Marquinhos, well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Tom Davis. Gray now. 
And forward they go, chasing the game. Full time! Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.